Hello, this is Joseph, and today we'll talk about an industrial ecology success story in Kallenberg, Denmark. Now let's look at an industrial plant, in this case a coal power plant. Now every industrial plant has inputs, or what we sometimes call resources or raw materials. In the case of a coal power plant, there is coal, water, and gas. Now, every industrial plant has outputs, what we call byproducts or waste. In this case, we have a coal power plant that has fly ash, gypsum, steam, and waste heat. Now, waste, as you know, is a very serious problem, because in, in a sense, we're looking at pollution. Now, there is no waste or pollution in natural ecology. That's because the waste of one organism becomes the food of another. So, is there a way that we can grab our waste byproducts in the industrial world and actually make them resources? And this is where industrial ecology comes into place. And for example, uh, we could grab the waste fly ash from a coal power plant and use it to build cement roads. We could also grab the gypsum and use it uh, for building materials, for example, drywall. And we could even grab the waste heat and use it in a greenhouse. Or we could grab the same waste heat and use it for local district heating. Now imagine there was a nearby oil refinery. We can grab the waste water and gas from the oil refinery and use it in the coal power plant. Likewise, we could grab the waste steam from the coal power plant and use it in the oil refinery. We can then connect the waste heat of the oil refinery to our district heating and grab the waste sulfur from the oil refinery and use it at a chemical plant to make sulfuric acid. Now, are we looking at theoretical concepts here when we look at this diagram? And the answer is no, this is actually happening for real in Kallenberg, Denmark. Now let's review industrial ecology at Kallenberg. Industrial ecology is being used very effectively in Kallenberg, Denmark. There are examples of industrial ecology being used and applied in every continent. However, there are many opportunities to uncover and the reality is we're not using industrial ecology enough. We can actually use it to solve the problems of pollution and waste in our world. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.